Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kyra, and here on my channel, we are not about perfection, and we are not about Instagram editorial looks. We are all about real makeup for real life and real people. are here a very special welcome to you I hope you will consider subscribing before you leave if you like what you see today and it will help you find my videos more easily on Tuesday Thursday and Saturday when I upload so today's video is the first of its kind but hopefully the first of many and that is a four looks one palette with my custom palette that I built for the month of February and this month that palette in case you haven't seen it yet looks like this predominantly warm predominantly cool and I just felt inspired by this and I plan to bring you guys four looks every month with whatever the custom palette of the month is unless I would roll a palette over because I'm just having so much fun with it but with all of that said we had better get into it because I feel you're this is gonna be a long guys, one. Welcome, Kanichiwa. Good morning. Today we're going to do like a green bronze look using three shades. We're gonna first go into this green matte right here, which is ugh, backwards, and start this off in the crease and transition area. So I'm just going to build this up until I feel happy with it. I'm also gonna take the same shade on a little flat definer brush and put this right up against the lower lash line, making sure the upstairs and the downstairs are connected, for which I will need to consult a closer mirror. All right, next I'm gonna take this flat shadow brush here and pick up this deep green shade down here that I've already dug my fingernail into. It's called Rustic. It's a really deep green. I don't know, I feel like this is more of a shimmer or even a satin versus one of their metallic shades because the bronze we're going to use today is definitely one of their metallic shades and so you'll see the difference. This does have a sheen to it, but it's not super metallic. It is, however, super beautiful. So I'm going to put that all over about the outer half or so of the lid, and then I'm just going to pull this up super lightly into the crease, just a little bit like that, and then we're going to go back and blend in a second after we catch this eye up to speed. Now that we have that established, I'm also going to take just the tip of this flatter brush and also pull this deeper shade down to the lower lash line. Not going any more than halfway across. Then I'm going to pick up this fluffy brush that we used for our transition and just lightly blend the green, the deep green that we put on the lid into the crease a little. For the star of the show, we're going in with this shade right here, which is called Bronzed to Perfection. And that's gonna go all over the inner two thirds or so. I'm using kind of a flat pinch, not flat pinch, a pinched more fluffy brush for this application. Sometimes, I don't know. I don't remember how I discovered this, but this actually helps not to have so much texture on my eyelid. I think because it gives a thinner application of these more metallic shades. Let's see if I can just amp it up just a titch with my finger, especially along the upper lash line. Mm-hmm. It just takes such a small amount, but look at that shine. I'm just gonna pick up some of that green matte we used in the transition and use that as a transition between the deep green on the outer corner and the bronze. Just helps things look a little bit more seamless. 
hopefully you can see the difference. This is something I do really frequently with eyeshadows where I use whatever my transition shade is to blend between my lid shade and any deepening shade that I have. Alrighty then, I'm going to pop off of here, finish off the eyes with some mascara, and do a lip, not finish off the eyes with a lip, <laughs> and do something with the hair, and then I will come back and we'll talk about my feelings on the final look. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair today, but it's not quite dry, so I left it. All right, I finished off the eyes with my CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. Still a huge favorite. I did the lower inner rim with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighting Duo Pencil. I used the Sand Shimmer shade today, and I really like it. It's a little bit softer than the matte side in terms of the look. I aligned and filled in my lips with the NYX Lip Pencil in Natural, and topped it off with my ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil in the shade first date. Yes. And that is because I am getting ready to leave the house. I'm going to be putting a mask on, so I don't need to apply any lipstick or anything like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's look. I know I really did. I feel like I got a lot out of the three shadows that I used today. And that bronze to perfection shade is just everything. I love that shade. I will see you for another one. All right, sure. let's do a two shadow look today. The two shadows I'm gonna be concentrating on are these two right here. This one right here is Apricot from Sydney Grace, and this one right here is Dash of Curry from Beauty Junkies. I want the bulk of the look to be matte and to be this shade right here, which is Dash of Curry, and then kind of go in and just highlight the very inner part of the lid or inner corner with this Apricot shade. I'm gonna first take this sort of blunt fluffy brush and pick up the shade Dash of Curry. And we're just going to start building a very sheer base for this color first. And then we're going to gradually build it with smaller, more dense brushes, if that makes sense. So I'm not gonna talk you through this part. I'm going to go quickly through it, but you know what the plan is. And so I'm gonna jam out and show you how to create this look. All right, now I have just a few products that I'm gonna incorporate here to finish off this eye look that are not eyeshadow. The first thing I'm gonna do is take this little dual-ended Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighting Duo Pencil. It has a shimmer side and a matte side. We're gonna start with the matte side in the waterline. Just wake up the eyes a little bit. Now I'm gonna take the highlighting side and just ever so slightly add this to the inner corner. Next, I want to use a deep brown eyeliner. This one happens to be from Wet n Wild. So I like to just deepen up 
sort of like the outer two thirds or so of the upper lash line. And then put just a little bit on the lower lash line. Just a tiny bit. I like to smudge that in. Hopefully you were able to see. And I also smudge the upper liner a little bit. Now I'm gonna curl the lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. Okay, we're back. I decided to leave the hair like this. I think it's kind of cute. This is actually kind of like my little drying situation for my curly hair, but I don't know. I'm digging it. Are you? Okay, so for a lip, I'm gonna use a combination of lip liners. This is the Milani Understatement Liner in Nude Entrance, and this is the NYX Lip Pencil in Natural. So in order to make the lips look a little bit more pouty, I'm gonna use this deeper shade from Milani to do the Cupid's Bow area and on the bottom of the lip, along the bottom of the lip, and then we'll go in with the natural one, and then I also have like a gloss situation. All right, lips are kind of like contoured. I don't know that it had quite the dramatic effect that I thought it was going to, but I do like it. I was picking up my mascara, that's not going on the lips. Um, I got this for Christmas for my daughter. It's the ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil in Blossom Out. It was from their succulent collection and I like this one so much that I bought a second shade. If you have any of these, what do they smell like to you? Because to me they smell like, like anise, like a black licorice kind of scent and I don't know. I mean, I don't dislike it even though I don't care for black licorice, but I'm just curious if my my sniffer is broke, really. Any hoozle, let's judge the curls, pull some pieces down the face. This is the completed look. Let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one. guys welcome back for another look with my custom palette for February today we are doing a cooler tone look using this side of the palette I'm trying to get two looks out of this one and I think I'm gonna start things off in the crease with this pink shadow from Beauty Junkies called Love Affair it's a really pretty shadow so I'm just gonna start this on the outer part of the eye where I want the most pigment and work it into the crease and then start blending it up into the transition area each time I dip into the palette I'm starting back on the outer part of the eye and starting it in the crease again and then blending upward toward the brow by the way the chomping i'm sorry it's oliver our golden retriever if you don't know we got a golden retriever puppy and he's chomping on his antler thing i'm gonna next go into this shade right here from sydney grace i believe it's rover yes rover and it is a metallic but I think it's gonna be beautiful on the outer corner of the eye and up into the crease a little bit. I'm gonna take this little angled fluffy brush right here and pick up some of that. And I'm gonna place this on the outer corner or the outer part of the lid first and sort of bring that in at an angle. And then once I feel confident with that, I will take and blend it on the outer part of the lid and up into the crease. And it's nice with shades like this that are a little bit more, I don't even wanna call it satin, but these work really good for outer corner work and even the crease. But Super pretty, going back in with the original brush and the original shade Love Affair from Beauty Junkies and just going to blend right on the edge of that. Make sure the pink is still present while still blending that deeper shade in the crease. Okay, we're gonna go back down to Rover now with a flat definer brush, just like a flat square brush. If you have a thinner, like an eyeliner brush or even a lip brush, 
something like that where you can get it really close up into the lash line. And then we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the top and that is go in with our pink and smudge out the deeper shade. Okay, now for some real magic. This shade up here in the corner that is blinding you is called Tiara from Sydney Grace, and I'm gonna apply that on the lid today. This is an extremely foiled shade, if you can't tell, and so I really want to avoid adding any texture to my lid. Not that I wouldn't love to have this at like full foiled capacity on my eyeballs, and we will definitely get that shine, but this works so well for applying it without getting any kind of weird texture. This was definitely one of the shades I knew I had to have when I made my first Sydney Grace order. I wanna try this shade right here. I think it's Stargazer or Stargazing. Stargazing from Beauty Junkies on the inner corner. I'm not super familiar with this shadow, so I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we're gonna give it a shot. Ooh, it might be kind of dark. We'll see. Oh no, that's pretty. I really like this shade from Beauty Junkies. One of the prettier ones that I have in my collection. Not super duper brightening. Let's try a little more. There we go. Why not? Just add that little bit of pink in there. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna pop off of here, do a little liner and mascara and a lip, and I will come back and we will wrap this look up in a neat little bow. All right, we are back and this is the completed look. What do you think? Very quickly, I finished off the eyes with my L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. This just keeps getting better and better. I think my eyelashes look super long today. Then I lined my lips with my MAC lip liner, Not and Whirl. This is Soar, it's a pinky one. And then the gloss that I'm wearing is the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in Soft Rose. So I hope you enjoyed today's look and I will see you in the next look very hey guys, soon. Welcome to the last look with my custom palette for February. I'm gonna mix a few warm tones and cool tones today and I did have a request to do that. I think the first shade I'm gonna go into just very lightly as a transition is this shade right here. It's from Beauty Junkies and it is called Winter Wheat. I'm gonna take my favorite fluffy brush from Delium Tools. This is the 785 Tapered Blending. The writing is finally starting to wear off three years later, which honestly is pretty good. <laughs> The next shade I want to go into is this sort of olive -y shade from Sydney Grace. This is the shade Backwoods, and I'm going to start putting this in my crease and pray it doesn't look too, like, sallow <laughs> on me, but sometimes these type of yellowy greens can look really awful <laughs> on me, so I guess we're going to find that out today. And I'm pulling it out a little bit toward the temple. Just feel like it today. Going back into Winter Wheat from Beauty Junkies, just to make sure everything is nice and blended. Winter Wheat is such a great transition shade. I really enjoy it. I'm gonna go into this shade down in the corner here. It is from Sydney Grace. It's called Rustic. Picking it up on a little fluffy angled brush and I'm going to start working this in the outer V. Just going to do the outer part of the lid and then I will bring it up into the crease as I have less product on the brush. The reason why I like an angled brush like this, an angled fluffy brush, is because it keeps things at a nice upturned angle on the eye, but you can still bl bleh, blend with it as well. So it's actually quite a handy brush 
And it took me forever to figure out what the heck to use it for. <laughs> so now you know. Taking the second brush that we used with the green but no additional product, I'm just going to blend. I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Tiara. It is very pretty. And I'm gonna use this sort of pinch fluffy brush to apply that to my lids. And the reason being is that I find that this really helps not emphasize the texture on my eyelids. I love this shade. I think it goes really nice with the greens. All right, going in with that second brush again and the second shade, Backwoods. Picking a good amount of that up on the brush. And I'm just gonna kind of tap between the silver and the deep green that we put on the outer part of the eye. That's not really working. Something different. go. All right. And I think this will help just kind of reinforce the green and the look a little bit. I'm going to decide if I want. I don't think I'm going to put anything on the lower lash line. I do want an inner corner highlight, however. I think I'm going to try this shade and the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold highlighting palette. This is in my shop, my stash for February. I'm going to quickly jump off of here and do some liner, mascara, and a lip, and I will come back and give you my final thoughts on using this palette for these four right. looks. We're back, and this is the completed look. I finished off the eyes. I got this from my girl Angela. It's the Believe Beauty Long Lasting Eyeliner in Olivia. It's a beautiful deep green shade. And then I used my L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. And for lips, I used the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick in the shade Walk of no shame. So let's talk about this palette really briefly. I'm sure this is already a longer video doing four looks that I kind of talked through, but I just want to briefly talk about some of the standout shades in here for me and just overall how I feel about this palette. Standout shades for me this month were definitely from Sydney Grace, other than I love this shade, Dash of Curry, highly recommend super duper pretty for all intents and purposes did a one shadow look with it and i was happy happy love the beauty junkies mats obviously tiara was a favorite for me so far i love this shade apricot and these two greens and this bronze have been really fun to play with so also just wanted to say thank you for those of you who submitted a name in the comments for naming this palette you would have seen that in the title and i just i loved your guys's creativity i would really like to do this every month from now on in terms of asking you guys to name the palette so let me know if there's any special way you'd like me to do that do you want me to take suggestions over on instagram as well and with all of that said, I really hope you enjoyed these four looks. I am really enjoying my singles these days and I'm just more than anything enjoying putting together my own custom color story. So thank you so much for spending part of your day with me here today. I really appreciate your time and that you clicked on this video. And I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days. And I will see you in my next video soon.